Alright guys, hi guys, this is Dalin Tino Snatchi again. So today is PABX day and I will be showing you guys how to install and configure a Panasonic KX PABX. Okay, this is fresh out of the box. So I want you to stay tuned while okay. We're gonna be setting this up and configuring it for both cool line extensions and intercoms. Okay, so stay tuned as we proceed. Cheers. Okay guys, so fresh out of the box. Um, in case um, you've not experienced, this is how a new box comes up, okay? This is the PABX KXTS824, okay? The TES824 Advanced Hybrid System okay. for voice management, um, call outside, intercom management, it can even serve for door management, but we're basically going to be doing just the voice, that is the outside call and the intercom. So we'll be replacing the TEM824 with the TES824, which is much more advanced and easier to configure. The TEM824 is an older version of the Panasonic PABX, uh, while the TES824 is a more advanced version that um, can help uh, synchronize with latest technologies. You can use your USB to configure, unlike the TEM that is just a comport. So we are done mounting the new Panasonic KXCS824 PABX. Um, next step now is we have to log in to configure and, and that is a very basic part of the installations. Okay, so stay tuned while we proceed next to the configuration. Okay, sorry guys, I was supposed to have shown the port but once you unbox it, you will see it's a printer port USB. 
it's just by the right hand side okay and then you plug in the USB cable while this USB edge goes to your system okay okay so make sure you have the KXTE maintenance console installed on your system Okay, so if that happens you know that the USB is not connected so let's go ahead and connect Okay, so system password is 1234. Okay, so the maintenance console is open. Here you can change, you can change set dates. You can, okay. Um, mine is configured to synchronize with my system. Um, you can also have access to the main firmware of the PABX. Here you can set password, you can set operator um, to any jack. Um, well, for if you are doing a customer service and you need music tones, that can also be enabled here. DTMF integration, um, number planning. You can do your numbering planning here from 1 to 24 or as much ports as you have, you can assign. Here I have plans 100 to 99, but um, we're only allocating a few. Okay, so you can set your time service, your extension, you see um, your call out parameters can also be set. Um, okay, so these are basic configurations that basically help you to you know do your job without issues and here you can restrict um, calls and allow calls privileges um, you set timer for calls coming from outside to the intercoms or the main consoles depending on its location okay if you do not really know what to do you can simply look at details so here we have four outside lines and these have been indicated to only go to the jack one and whatever changes you make you either check or uncheck you apply it and okay so you can also download you can download your settings so that um, when next you perhaps have it you can simply um, you know load it instead of um, trying to configure it again you can also add program code changes Okay. so this is how far I can go here um, feel free to hit me up on the comment section um, for any questions or any issue that you have on setting up calls on on your PABX especially the Panasonic okay so so I'm still dialing to no snatchy. Yes. Okay. So I'm signing out.